To give you a better view of the installation, we are using a lift. Like most installations, this vehicle does not need to be elevated for the install. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by removing six plastic screw fasteners located here. We will be removing the undercarriage deflector from the vehicle. Raise the hitch into position and align the holes in the frame with the holes in the hitch. On the passenger side, fasten the hitch to the bottom of the bumper at the rearmost attachment tabs using the supplied hex bolts and hex flange nuts. Repeat this process on the driver's side attachment point. Fasten hand tight. Fish wire the lower passenger side attachment points by inserting the coiled end of the fish wire through the hitch and through the frame attachment point and out through the lower access hole. Place the square hold spacer over the coiled end of the fish wire and insert the spacer into the access hole. Thread the carriage bolt into the coiled end of the fish wire and insert the carriage bolt into the frame access hole. Pull on the opposite side of the fish wire allowing the carriage bolt to pass through the square hole spacer, the frame attachment point, and out through the hitch. Carefully remove the fish wire as it will be used again. Fasten the hardware with a hex flange nut. Repeat this process on the opposite attachment point on the driver's side. Fasten the remaining attachment points by using the supplied handle nuts. Bend the handle nut slightly for ease of installation and insert the handle nut into the access hole in the bumper. Insert the hex bolt and conical tooth washer through the remaining attachment point on the passenger side and fasten it to the handle nut. Repeat this process on the opposite attachment point on the driver's side. Torque all hardware to the exact value specified in the supplied instruction sheet. 